the first of the handicaps now then is the Ultima Handicap Chase. This is a three mile handicap chase and there's a big field for this one. And it's normally a pretty competitive event. It's a grade three handicap. The top one is Equinox for Leon Van Rensburg. You can see that's one last two times out probably while it's top white. Placebo Park for Craig Allen is number two. Lord of the North, Joshua Sutherland up on the catwalk. Leon Van Rensburg, Plague Runner for Craig Allen. Spring Gate, Darren Thompson, Kerry's Girl, John Morgan, Carisolo, Limerick, David Robertson, River of Dreams, Ryan Tamasebi, Astra Charm, Glances placed in this last season for Martin Leedham. Resentful Sadie, James Shea, Whitstar Mayhem, Alex Cherry, Florence Nightingale, Paul Rhodes, Monolith, Darren Thompson, Gypsy King, Alex Cherry, Court Milet, Graham Clutterbuck, Lily Branches, David Hooney, Big Fat Truth, Craig Beckwith and Lexington Blade for Vinny. Gerard is the bottom one, that's your 19 then, they're called in and away they go. And looking their way out towards the first of the 18 fences they'll take in this two circuits just about of the Cheltenham track. And Monolith on the inside is going to lead into the first. And he's just out jumped there by Lord of the North as they all get safely over the first. And there's one or two of them a bit wide up on the catwalk. Looks like it's going to try and cut right back into the rail. But sit quietly on the back. There's a long way to go. So that's probably the most sensible idea, to be honest, rather than sitting wide on the outside, which is what Plague Runner appears to be doing at this stage. They get down to the second. And over that one they all go, and they're all safely over that one, and now they're going to make their way down towards the water jump with Lord of the North and Springgate, a good five lengths clear of River of Dreams, who's into third. Then comes Big Fat Truth and Lily Branches, Monolith is after that one, as they get over the water. Then Gypsy King, Resentful Sadie, Kerry's Girl, as for Charm Glances, the grey and the purple jacket near on the near side as well, is close up today, and... You can see an Alex Cherry Horse, which their mayhem is right over on the far side as they get over the fourth. And Equinox, the top weight, struggling a little bit at the back. Jump that a little bit slowly, but they're now down towards the fifth already. And over that one they go with the leader, Lord of the North, now pulled on by a couple of lengths to Springgate, who's settled down into second. River of Dreams, still wide on the track, is third. Then a bit of a gap back to Monolith on the road. Next to that one is Florence Nightingale. Big Fat Truth, also wide on the track with Kerry's Girl chasing that one of them placebo park on Whitstar mayhem as they take this ditch and over the ditch they go looking towards the back equinox and plague runner are oh, the back two who are just hacking around and keeping themselves company at the moment there's a long way to go as they race downhill then down towards the final two miles of this race with Lord of the North leading the Ultima field by two lengths to Springgate in second, Gap of four or five then to River of Dreams in third, Monolith fourth, then Florence Nightingale's back in fifth, Big Fat Truth is after that one, then Kerry's Gurren up on the catwalk and Gypsy King and Wickstar Mayhem as they get over number seven. Quite a few of these towards the back of the field in and out of shot, but it's Lord of the North who leads by a couple to Springgate, who's a clear second. Big gap then of four or five lengths to River of Dreams and Monolith who are third and fourth, then Florence Nightingale heads the main pack with Big Fat Truth behind that one and then up on the catwalk who's made a bit of a forward move. Uh, also there resentful Sadie and Wickstar Mayhem. Gypsy King is the one that's just about the widest on the track, the second of the two. Alex Cherry Horses, the grey Astro Charm Dances has lost its place and drops towards the rear as they get over number eight. And they're all safely over that one with the top weight Equinox still just about the back mark then as they get over number nine. And one or two sketchy jumps again. Lexington Blade wasn't perfect at the back. And they race up past the stand then there. And they swing out for another circuit of the track with Lord of the North clear in the lead past the point from where they started then a Lord of the North Spring Gate as they get over this one that was the first the last time round and they're all safely over it although Lily Branches didn't jump it well at the back and Lord of the North is the leader then Spring Gate is second and then a big gap to Monolith in third River of Dreams is four and up on a catwalk five and then Wichita Mayhem and Florence Nightingale and then Resentful Sadies after that then Gypsy King and Kerry's Girl and Astra Charm glances creeping closer again as they take number 11 and they're all still on their feet despite one or two Mistakes and Springgate has now sprung into the lead. So Springgate leads by a half then coming down towards the water for the second and final time. Springgate by half a length, but out jump there by Lord of the North who goes back into the lead. Monolith is still third. Then River of Dreams is fourth and Florence Nightingale fifth. The leading four or five hasn't really changed. Up on the catwalk and resentful Sadie are chasing the leaders as they get over that big ditch. 
and all safely over that one, all still on their feet then, with Lord of the North and Springgate, six lengths clear of Monolith as they take this next one, the two leaders jump mad a little bit slowly, one or two sketchy jumpers again at the back, and Lily Branches and Lexington Blade are really struggling with the jumping so far today, but it's Springgate in the lead then by about a neck to Lord of the North on its inside, Monolith is now only three lengths back in third, Florence Nightingale and River of Dreams are next, then there's a gap of three or four as they take the next ditch, and over that one they go, and they're all still over it, and they're all still standing, and Springgate still in the lead from Lord of the North in second, but the chasing Pat Monolith, River of Dreams, and Florence Nightingale are beginning to close, resentful, Sadie looks to be going well behind them, then up on the catwalk, with Star Mayhem, Kerry's Girl, Carry Solo, Limericks after that, then Court Milet, then comes Astro Charm, Glance is trying to get into it, Gypsy King is next, then Plague Runner and Equinox, Placebo Park, Lily Branches, Big Frat Truth, and finally Lexington Blade as they come down to the 16th, that's the third from home, and Florence Florence Nightingale down on its nose, but it's Lord of the North still in front. Springgate now looks to be coming under pressure. Florence Nightingale moves back into second. Resentful Sadie and River of Dreams. Then Monolith Astra Charm Glances trying to get into it as well. Up on the catwalk is there, and now they're beginning to bunch up as they make their way towards the final three furlongs. And it's Florence Nightingale who's in the lead. Florence Nightingale and has gone on now by two lengths to Lord of the North in second. Resentful Sadie is third up on a catwalk fourth. Then comes Astra Charm Glances. After that one is Monolith and Equinox and River of Dreams. Witch Star Mayhem over the second last they go. And it's Florence Nightingale in front. Lord of the North trying to fight back. Then comes Resentful Sadie. This is the final fence and over it goes Florence Nightingale. Florence Nightingale in the lead. Here comes Monolith and River of Dreams into the final furlong. Florence Nightingale then. But Monolith and River of Dreams are beginning to catch her. And it's almost three in a line now. River of Dreams and Monolith as they race up towards the line. It's got to be a head bobber. It's Monolith who's got to take it. And up towards the line, Monolith takes the ultimate chase from River of Dreams. Second, Florence Nightingale. Third, then Springgate and Kerry's Girl and Plague Runner ran on. Equinox never got a blow in. And Big Fat Truth was the last one to finish. And Darren Thompson gets his first festival winner with Monolith. Proving too strong up the hill for the rest of them. So Monolith, the winner for Darren Thompson. River of Dreams, who went off favourite for Ryan Tamasemi, was second. Florence Nightingale, third for Paul Rhodes. And Springgate, up there in the van for most of the way for Darren Thompson as well, was fourth. And Kerry's Girl for John Morgan, went on to be fifth.